within day one to the end. So Frank one, thank you very much. One of the best promoters in Europe, not the best. Well done. Well done. Uh, you, know, you have to build, there's a lot of big fights out there. Is there anybody in particular you want to face? Listen, first of all, I just want to have my Christmas off, sit down. Frank Mark can have the stress and fitting of that, have my Christmas with Daniel. Listen, he ain't done me wrong so far. He's, he's done me, um, you know, people said I was mad stepping aside. I thought I was mad stepping aside. But he set me down in some threads. And he was telling me what route to take, and I thought, is this the right route? And I thought, you've got to have trust, and I trusted him. And uh, listen, they can't get no better than what he's done, because I've got plenty of money on the way, fine. Stepping aside the end world champion at the end of the year, he said he would be living in world champion. So listen, I'm Carl Canelo, I love them fights. I want to move up, I'll beat, I'll beat Spike, I'll beat Eubank. Now I've gone on and took the world champion's title, Andy Lee. I'm WBO world champion, now I've got to say. So I'll have a Christmas off, then I saw Frankie give me a bell on the new year, and we'll go from, from there. But listen, people think now that I'll always go out camp, get fat, and you know, and, and, and have a break over Christmas. Don't be wrong, I work Christmas off. But that title there, I'll work for that title, I know what I'm up against. <coughs> world champions. And, uh, I know I've got to stay on form to compete on this level. I'm at a new level when I've arrived. Frank, what are the chances of an Elbrus right? Well, Bill wants that and so to think about it. And I've got to be honest, I don't think that would be a difficult fight to make. But it's something you know, I want to think about. What I would like to happen, and then obviously sit down with the guys and we'll, you know, I'll tell them what I think, and then it's, you know, we'll make a decision between us. But, I, I, see, I, I think Bill, I'll keep saying this, Bill is a better fighter I think he gets credit for. And, you know, I look all different, you know, I always look at fighters, not what they're good at doing, what they're bad at doing. And, you know, we do a couple of things that Bill in the past was basically just, you know, um, sometimes the way you live. Yeah. But he's addressed that, I mean, he's been magnificent in the way he's dealt with that. I think that's, you know, that's something I've seen that's going to be moving forward, it's only going to get better and better. I think you know, it's a matter of looking, it's not about winning the world title. I always think, if you want to become world champion, you don't want to become just win the belt, you want to go on and defend it. I'm not saying that fight like dumb is, but you want to go and make money, because that's the objective, it's the hardest game in the world, the sport. Um, you want to secure your family financially, and, you know, and everybody, and you know, Make sure your life's good when you get out of the box and you want to leave your marbles intact. And it's my job to ensure that happens. But there are some fights there, and I think it you know, builds um, skills, and I think, it, I think it, this will bring him on. You know, with the world title, will bring him on. And I think that, you know, there's fights out there, they can be included in help with it, but if we pick them at the right moment, they can be winnable fights. You know, when you look at our race against Floyd Mayweather, and I know we took back Floyd Mayweather, but, I mean, he wasn't even in the big getting a race because he was boxing. Boxing, boxing. Bill is a good power, he's a good player, he's a tough match in this session. You know, that's, he's, that's his style. But, I think, you know, a couple of fights, you know, sometime next year we can get it on towards the end of the year. People, people think that they see me in the fight, in that ring, they look at me, I said it at the press conference. I look easy to eat, I look easy to. No, but when you're in there with me, it's a different thing. Look at Andy Lee. Look what he did to Peter Quillin. He was out boxing Peter Quillin. Look what he did to Korobov. Look what he did to Jackson. They're all world-class fighters. When I'm in there, people don't give me enough credit. When I'm in there, I'm a lot difficult and trickier than people think when they're in the ring. When you ask anybody in the ring. And that's why he's a cagey fighter, such. Because he's, you know, he's thinking. He's not, you know, my concern with the fight is going to let his can't rule his head, and he didn't do that. He kept to the game of man, stayed focused, he knew what he had to do. I just thought at the end with the crowd, I knew that Andy Lee, there was a part in the other, he, Andy Lee knows the next, you know, the last couple of rounds he's got to come out there and try and win it. In my opinion, he was behind, and he had to come out and try and get it. But, you know, Bill stayed cool, calm, and you know, he, he did what he had to do. 
Bill, 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 Bill is a quality fight. He doesn't come box me in country in about 18 years old. And he was quite a standout performance there. He was a human guy. You know, he's not a big good fighter. He's a class he's a, he's a, he's a act. And, and I'm absolutely confident he can go on and do some really good things. You know, for me, we can make Cotto the next fight in a half. I'll do that tomorrow. I'll say to him, you're doing it. It's not a choice. So we're going to fight anyway. It's a fight now. And I'll say to him, hey, this is it. Huh? This is the fight I'll win. Is it a big deal? It's a fight on skills, pay the bills. Is, is that a fight with Cotto that you'd like to see happen in America, Billy Frank? I don't, I think, you know, wherever it, you know, look, I'll be not. I'll be not. I think certain, certain fights want my advantage. For obvious reasons, you know, the crowd gets behind you. When the crowd are behind you, you can speak to any fighter. You know, sometimes the going gets tough and you're away from home. You know, so I'm, but when you're in front of your own people, you look at who they are. Um, but I've, I've got some same guys on the road. We took you know, Kawasaki out to fight Hopkins. You know, and Sam and, and Hopkins was shot. It wasn't even sitting up to Joe's fight. We went to do. We got. Derek has already beat Mike Tyson last week. Enzo went out and finished Roy Jones. He's, he's capable of going to the States. This went out live on Showtime. Yeah. They showed it. It's uh, you know, starting to be cemented in the in Texas. That's a good one. Can I start spilling two questions? One, have you got the perfect style for Miguel Cotto? And your increased fitness, we saw a much more, even after you got him down in the third, we you seem to have focus and concentration etched on your face for 12 rounds there tonight. Two yeah. questions. Gareth, I was sitting in the dressing room, he lit me room and I was thinking, after a while talking, and I was so zoned in the bars, I was thinking, am I switched on? I was so zoned in, I didn't even know I was switched on. And in that dressing room, I was zoned out, it was, I was told we got through. When I got in that ring, I was just switched on, it was just like, no tomorrow. And when I knew I had the knockdowns, no one was beat back, nobody. Um, and what's your other question? The style of Cotto for you. Cotto, James, since I've been a young boy, I've got, I love that fight. His style suits me. I love a Cotto fight. I'll take it next. I'll, if I can have two weeks off, I'll get back into camp and look for the new year. I love that fight. I've been, I've wanted that fight since I've been a young boy watching him growing up. That would be a dream. And to go to America and do it would be a bigger dream. Traveller versus traveller tonight. Just want to ask a question about that. The respect between you both. It's quite extraordinary, it's almost touching gloves. It, it was, it was, yeah. I, got, I was saying nothing wrong about him, he's a true champion, but I'll put the pressure on myself, I'll always perform under pressure. There's no room for the loser in our community, and I wasn't being no loser tonight. I'm his son there, I've had him here with me, it's was yesterday, I've seen him for two months, he's been with me all day, yesterday, all day today, and I was never going to get beat in front of him today, never in a million years. So, that was a traveller. And, and, and if you look at you look at Bill when people have him, when he's been he's been in kind of a couple of fights as an underdog. <coughs> when he was an underdog for some reason, I don't know why against the uh, new banks. I thought if you look back at the new banks fight, when we've done Jeff Dunnick, he did it on the channel a couple of months ago, and everyone saying the last he lost the last couple of rounds, but he actually did. You know, one of the rounds I thought he did it, new bank was punching in there. <coughs> he went in an underdog and won the fight. The Australian guy, what's his name? Fletcher. 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 Yes, from Australia. He went on to fight for the Roman Tiger. He fought him, knocked him out. And he was a good for the And for the European Tiger, and he was a Golovkin is an absolute class act, there's no doubt about it. 
He's got a million options. Well, he's, got, he's got four or five really good options. So we'll look at each one of them and consider it. But at the end of the day, it's about fight risk, money, and what happens after that, you know, that particular fight. So we will, as we always do, look at it rationally and then make a decision where we go. They would all be in the mix with the other guys. Well. They're all in the mix. Yeah. Listen, don't rule out neither and show a good, a good um, no occasion for South tonight. Rematch got in, oh, you know. I'm sure if we could do a bigger venue down London. No, that's that's not the you know we can talk about that as well. Listen, like I say, I'll have Christmas off. Enjoy me off. <coughs> I'm enjoying Christmas. He hasn't gone me wrong so far, Frank Warren, and we're talking from where I'll go from there. But so, it was a good fight, Andy. Very good fight, fair play to you. Um, what I liked about this fight, there was no trash talk. There was nothing too proper about it. And it was a close fight. It was, it was a close fight. I can't, I can't sit here and say I run away with it. Um, you know, one judge gave it a draw, but he, he, it was a good fight. And I didn't beat. I didn't, like I said, I didn't beat a, a, a contender and a, and a fake, fake world champion. He's gone to America. He's not from that horrible world. Well. He was highly rated. Then he's gone to there the week to Peter Quillen. Thought he could have won the fight. Thought he had the fight against Peter Quillen. Then, you know, he, and then he did it too well. He did it to Jackson first. So. You know, he deserves a lot of respect and, uh, you know, I'm sure that he'd be game, I'd be game, sit down and perhaps if business work, we could do a rematch. Andy, would you uh, go for it again and would you change your tactics a bit this time? Um, I'm not going to stay too long and I just wanted to make congratulations. Thank you. The whole way through, we love five.